Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, did y'all miss us last week when we decided to not show up? <laughs> I hope y'all missed us. We did miss y'all, but we had a lot going on last week. And yeah. we needed the time away to do what we needed to do so that we can come back refreshed this week. All right, so the first cruise, with well, first embarkation mistake that a lot of us even not just first time was, but I feel like experienced mm -hmm. people make is not downloading that app. So some of us have the app carried over from like, from cruise to cruise, mm -hmm. but sometimes you may have to end up taking it. For my case, I had to take it off my phone one time and I forgot to put it on. And if you don't put that app on your phone and you don't have the Wi-Fi package, you have to go to guest services and they have to help you get the app on the phone. And if you anything, if if and I know it's the first time you don't know this. The lines on oh, embarkation day are crazy. Yeah, you yeah. don't want to stand in there because you forgot to uh, download your Carnival Hub app. Even mm -hmm. to pick it back off of what you said, even if you have the Wi-Fi, because we always have Wi-Fi, there is something about the signal on land and the signal on the ship that kind of just makes downloading any kind of app very hard to do. So even if you have it, you may still have to take a visit to go down to guest services for them to be able to do it because yep. for some reason it just it just it it's a challenge all right so the second thing listen it's the easiest thing to do it's going to save you a whole lot of time but complete that online check in yes. during that process please it's legit going to take away most of the things that you're going to have to do in person the only thing that you would have to do in person is present your actual documentation and if you need to add cash or whatever. But don't just show up and you haven't selected the time you want to show up. You haven't given them your betting preferences. Right. You haven't set up your onboard um, spending account. You haven't given them your um, emergency contact information. We just wasting time at this point. Like, right. go ahead and get that done at the comfort of your home. Most of us do it while we laying in the bed anyway. Exactly. It's get off of TikTok and do your check-in. Exactly. Just like that. <laughs> the next thing is your documents. And we preach Hello. this all the time. And so before I get in documents, I see it's 200. And two of you guys in the house, if you're getting any value out this live thus far, don't forget to smash that like button when you come in the door. So the next thing is your document. The first thing you want to make sure that you have is your passport. We highly recommend you get a passport. It makes your, your life so much easier. So much easier getting on the cruise. It makes your life so much easier getting off the cruise. But we understand not everybody is there. So if you do have a passport, bring your passport and your state issued ID. Mm -hmm. If you do not have a passport, you can bring a birth certificate. Not the one we say with your feet on and the one that your mama them got that's been a laminated, that's probably been up on the wall since you were little. That still got that's some dust it. and lint on it. We ain't talking about that one. We talking about the one straight from Vital Statistics or DMV. Make sure that you pick that up. And also, what's your state issued ID? Also, make sure that you have your boarding pass. You don't yes. want to forget that. Uh, we just talked about the check-in process. That's when you go through your check-in process that's when you're going to get your boarding pass. Also, you don't want to forget your luggage tags, man. Come because on Because you're going to have to give the porter. We're going to be talking about this in yeah, a minute. Yeah, we're going to talk about it in a minute. Yeah, but you want to make sure that you print out them luggage tags. You want to have that. Mm -hmm. So am I forgetting anything, baby? I think, I think that's you covered it. it. I think right. you covered it. Oh, the only thing that I will add to that is if you have documentation that maybe like your last name is different now because you got married, divorced, whatever. Bring the supporting documentation that shows why you were A and now your name is B. Right. So that they can make the correlation of why. Otherwise, you're good to go. Yep. All right. The next thing. Prepare yourself with your carry-on bag accordingly. And yeah. don't get wrapped up on what a carry-on bag needs to be. It could be a grocery bag, far as I care. <laughs> it could be a beach bag. It could be a backpack. It could be a rolling cart. It could be a rolling bag. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't really have, even matter the size. It's just a way for you to free up your hand space and make sure that everything that you need to get on board is on your person. Yes. Listen, I'm giving you cop talk now. <laughs> on your person. <laughs> your documents money 
your foam, if you're going to bring on your wine or your champagne that needs to be on you, if you have a CPAP machine, you're going to have to walk that bad boy on. Yes. Do we want to be like this the whole time? And every time somebody <laughs> asks us a question or you bump into your cousin that you ain't no book to cruise with you, you can't give them a hug because your CPAP machine is on your shoulder. Indeed. Pack you something that will be able to free your hands up. Because it's going to be a minute, unless you're one of those special people we'll talk about later, that can get in their cabinet early. Indeed. All right. The next thing, talking about arriving early, please mm. do not arrive too early or too late to the port. Yes. Don't make that mistake. They give us a check-in time for a reason. And Yeah. It's not a suggested yeah, time. Yeah. You want to make sure <laughs> you show time. up there at your particular time because, number one, you show up early, they're going to they're gonna send you away. They are not going to let you go. Then, number two, mm. if you late, you might end up missing the ship. And that's one thing we do not want you to have yeah, been prepared for man. the last three, six, 12 months, maybe even 24, and get there late and miss yep. the ship. So we don't want you to do that. And so, all your money gone. Right. All of it. All right. Next thing. Tipping the porters is so, like these are the first people you're going to run into once you get out of your taxi, cab, live, whatever. Those porters are there to make sure that your bag gets from the curb into your room. Well, at the door of your room later on. Tip them people. Yeah. Those people do back breaking work. They do not get paid from the cruise. I mean, I'm not saying that, but um, yeah. they don't work for the cruise line. Give them a tip. It's customary to be like three to five dollars per bag. Because we do so many group trips, we tip them a lot because yeah. our bags are heavy. <laughs> and we know as soon as they, I said, I know, I got you, I got you. <laughs> um, but another question that we get a lot is, do I have to give my bag to the porter? Yeah, You do not have to give your bag to the porter, but just keep in mind, you're going to need to contend with your bag until your room is ready. So that means all the way through sail away when you trying to down, down, <laughs> your rolling bag going to be right there with you. Why are we doing that? Like give it to the porter, you know, trust the system, trust the process and let it end up at your um, door later on. But it is an option. You can bring it on if you want. It just has to be in that dimensions to be able to go through the scanner. What's those dimensions? Go to Convo.com. It'll tell you. All right. The next thing that we want to make sure uh mistake we don't make on embarkation day is not wearing comfortable clothes. Yeah. So like for me, I'm going to either have on a pair of basketball shorts if it's in the summer and a T-shirt and uh, my tennis shoes or my slides. Or if it's summertime, I mean, not summertime, wintertime, I'll have on my jogging pants. Mm -hmm. And I still will put a T-shirt on with my with my jacket, but I'm always got on loose, comfortable clothes before I get on the ship. Yeah, because there is a lot of walking. Yeah. There is a lot of standing around. There's a lot of dancing. It's going to take time. Like, this day is the day you pack your patience. Yeah. All right, so the next thing is, do not ignore the cruise line's communication. Please. And, the, and what I mean by this is, even if you're working with a travel agent, of course, the cruise line has your information as well. The day of your cruise or even the day before your cruise, if there is something that's happening with that ship in real time, you could start getting text messages and emails about what's happening. It could be a delay. It could be fog. It could be bad weather. Customs could be holding up the ship. And, but if you're not paying attention to your text messages and emails, right. they could be telling you to delay your arrival to your to your um to the um ship. They could say, "Listen, I know boarding started at eleven. Today we're gonna start at one. But if you are not looking at your communication, guess who's coming at eleven? You. And then <laughs> then the whole system is clogged up. So just make sure you're paying close attention to that because anything could happen. Yep. The next thing you want to make sure is you preparing for seasickness. I have not experienced the fullness, but I have experienced the initial parts of it. I'm telling you, you don't want to experience the initial or you do not want to experience the whole thing because once you're there, it's you over. <laughs> drama me and C bands is a no-go. It's not gonna fix it. Yep. Man, the first it's time you fun. don't you don't you don't know if you're gonna get sick or not. So we recommend you putting them C bands on and putting them drama me or taking them drama means before that ship takes off. And what are C bands, baby? With a C band, yeah. so C bands, so we don't have no here, but they're they're like wristbands, you know, like the um the sports wristband. They mm -hmm. look like that, but they have a little pressure point on it that push you right here. 
And some kind of way, uh, I'm not a medical doctor or nothing, <laughs> but some kind of way it's supposed to stop you from being dizzy. So <laughs> you're not an acupuncturist. Yeah, none yeah. Of it. It, it, I just know it works. <laughs> you get on my nerves. Oh, Lord. <laughs> All right. The next thing that you don't want to do is be mindful that you cannot record or take photography during the security points. No. So uh -uh. if you're entering into those areas where you're getting ready to go through security, like, and you're going to know there is a sudden change, like the atmosphere changes. Just put your phone away because you don't even want them to think that you're trying to do some recording yeah. because they will like, Hey, you need yeah. to put that away. They, hey, don't, they don't got me. Before. They don't got him before too. So yep. don't be that person. Don't delay the process. Just go ahead and um put your stuff away so you don't you don't have them kind of problems. Right. So this next mistake, um, we we made this one, <laughs> this one too, not knowing the parking and port address information. You shouldn't yeah. tell people that we didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, we don't been there, like because you be because what happens is you get so <laughs> excited to go on the trip and you are thinking that oh I need to know the addresses to the port. So that's something that you should be doing before you even take off to go get on the cruise, but just mm -hmm. make sure that you know that information before you take off the, to try to go to the port because we don't want you stressed out mm -mm. Um, at the pre-cruise hotel if you did that. <laughs> right. <laughs> or if you were en route and um, you start stressing about that. So mm -hmm. please know the addresses. Put it in your phone in the notes. Yeah. Next thing, muster. Yeah. The muster, let, let me tell you what the muster is. Muster is your safety briefing. So in the case of an emergency, because I know everybody, first time, first timers, you were already thinking about the Titanic, all of this. We th here's, the, here's the crazy thing, y'all. <clears throat> we will get so strung out and so scared about the Titanic, but be the, per the people that don't want to go to the muster. Yeah. <laughs> make that make sense. <laughs> like, the very thing Ooh. that can help save your life while you're afraid of losing your life, you won't go to it. Right. <laughs> they got to call your name over the speaker. They yeah. got to they got to shut the music down, and I can't get my dance on doing sail away because you need to go do your. Oh, we can't. Oh, we can't leave. Oh, we can't leave. And now yeah. you're mad because we supposed to have Sam Miles and Cosmail, and now we got five because of you. I want my money. Right, Daryl. Yeah, <laughs> I, I do. I do thank God for that. The, that the muster is a whole lot more better. It is more, so yeah, easy. So now. it's much easier now. So like to even miss it, it's like you just decided. Either you completely yeah. forgot, or you just don't give a you, fuck. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. <laughs> so it only takes two minutes for the muster drill. Two right, minutes, two minutes. Yep. And what we mean by that is, with Carnival, like we said, we're talking about how easy it is. They allow you to watch. This this briefing on your um on the app now. Yep. You watch it, and the only thing that you have to do after you watch it is a test that you watched it and show up to your muster station. And on your boarding pass, it will tell you what that station is. It's like a B6, A1. Show up there, they will scan your um your card, and boom, literally that's it. Yep. Because at the end of the day, if an emergency happens, that's the point that you need to come to so that you can get on the lifeboat. Why, why are we not doing it? Right. I don't get it. Very important. Because they, they will actually, um, you can actually, I haven't heard or seen it yet, but in Carnival's fine print, you can actually get They'll kicked off, off the ship for it. Yeah. So, so keep that in off. mind, especially for the new timers and then us, us experience too. The next mistake is not attending the sail away. So I know most of us experienced people, like most of the time we done, we done done sail away so much. Sometimes mm -hmm. we'd be like, we don't care if we make it, but I still make my way because sometimes stuff will happen. And somebody be like, did you see that sail away? But like, God, don't I missed it. So make sure when you go to sail away, go early, because I'm telling you, if you go after the fact, you most likely gonna be, be way in the back. And you ain't gonna be able to see. You gonna have to. You gonna have to look through the crowd to see the cruise director like this. Yeah, and, <laughs> and everybody get it down. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah. So go to sail away real early so you can get yourself a spot. Agreed. Well, like yeah, there's uh -huh. no sail away like, like a carnival. carnival yeah, they sail do it, away. They do it up. Like you can miss everybody else's, and I can say that confidently. 
Yeah. So and don't... I love Virgin. I can yeah. miss Virgins. <laughs> yeah, Virgin is like, yeah, but it's, it's like cool. it's cool. It's, it, but it, carnivals, oh, yeah. gonna be there. Yeah, Carlos gonna time. be it's gonna be lit. Auntie them gonna be out there dancing, cuz them gonna be out there dancing. Everybody <laughs> gonna be having a good time out there on carnival. Including me. Yeah, they go, it's gonna be like a church. Tell your neighbor, <laughs> neighbor, we're gonna have fun on this yeah. trip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. All right. Is this my turn? Yep. All right. The next thing to know is transportation. I know a whole bunch of y'all be like, oh, I'm not coming in the day before. It's a waste of money. Come in the day before your cruise, especially if you have to fly in. We just don't want to <clears throat> have that risk. But also have a pregame of how you're going to get from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. So if you're staying in a hotel, make sure and ask them when you book, before you book, look it up online, look it up on Google. The information is easy to find. If they have a shuttle that's going to take you from the hotel to the cruise port, if they don't, then how are you going to get there? So Uber works, Lyft works. I'm going to leave my uh, my affiliate link down there because it'll get you some money off and get me some money off too because yeah. I need it. As much as I travel, I need it. <laughs> but it does. It helps you get some um some money off of your um rides with um Lyft if you use that affiliate link. All right, the next one right here, this is for the individuals that have dietary restrictions. Listen up really good. Yes. On day one, you want to go to the dining room and go to the maitre d' so they can know what your dietary restrictions are. Because the last thing, we don't want you to happen that you eat, they bring something out to you that you are allergic to mm -hmm. and you get sick on a cruise. We don't got time for that. We, we gonna, we're going on the fun ship to have fun, not to get sick. Yeah. So please go and take care of that on day one yes definitely that's a big one yeah your, your allergies if you have like a tree nut allergy um shellfish or whatever because you can put even like myself i can put it in the system with carnival and i can talk to the ada department but that's something that you just don't want to leave to chance that that information was communicated correctly so take that extra step talk to the maitre d so that they compare your stuff for the week so they can be on the lookout and make sure that you're fine for the week at least in the dining room <laughs> listen I know that a lot of us like to be low rebels. Like we we like to push our luck, right? I'm one of those people. But if it said if they say it's not a prohibited on board, don't do it. Don't try it. Don't and it could be something as small as a bottle of water. Right. We wasting these people time and you're wasting your bottle of water because it's gonna get tossed out. It's an extra step that they have to do when they see it in your hand or they see it in your carry-on when they scan it through. They're gonna go in there, they're going to take mm -hmm. it and dump it out. Yep. Listen, why are we doing it? Like something as minute as a bottle of water. Also, we can go as big as a bullet. If you're a person that likes to go to the gun range, you could have some ammunition left over yeah. in something. Because Ooh. if you're like us, like we throw things into our backpacks and things like that. Yeah, tasers. So, and, and for us, it's normal stuff to have. But when you're going on a cruise or through the airport, you could end up in some big trouble. Like there's even an article out now about someone that's, I think they're from YouTube that went to another country and had a bullet in their pocket and they're ah. facing like 12 years of jail time. Now, will the United States do something as crazy as that? Auntie and them that's working at the port basically going to look at it and be like, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> but it's, it's Next. restricted. Like don't bring it. Right. Like if they're telling you don't bring a, <clears throat> Um, an extension cord with a surge protector on it. Don't, don't do bring it. it. Don't bring your iron. Do you want to? You don't even want to see the table of irons and right. steamers. And now here recently a wash machine. Yeah, y'all see that one with <laughs> that they try to bring a wash machine over there. Like what? No, it's not a big wash machine. It's the little Timu wash machine. Now I know that Carnival <sighs> doesn't probably have that in their things not to bring. But, but we're going to have to use some discretion here right. now. <laughs> like, <laughs> come on now. Like, really, if we can't bring an iron, why you think you, you can bring, bring a, a portable a washing machine. machine? Don't bring the weed. And don't bring no weed, no, no CBD either. Yeah. Now, I know y'all probably said, but the whole ship smells like weed. <clears throat> I ain't got nothing to do with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stay out of my control. But if I smell it, I might inhale a little hard because I didn't bring it. 
and I'm going on by my day. Somebody brought that Timu <clears throat> wash machine. Now in my brain, I'm like, it's actually not a bad idea. Like if you're a person that wants to like do something real quick, but they were like, no, we're not going <laughs> to do this. And Marisa, I heard and I lowered my head. I, I think like, I did. I just shook my head. I was like, it's like a whole wash machine. Like that is so like that's so much real estate that you like, could have used for more clothes. <laughs> because, like, in in my opinion, we go on vacation so we don't have to wash clothes. Mm. And not only you gonna wash clothes, but you're gonna wash them manually with that, because that's still a manual machine. Gotcha. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. sure. Shoot, I ain't wash no clothes on vacation. I'm sending them down. Because you're bougie now. I'm not bougie. <laughs> uh, I'm not bougie. <laughs> and that leads us to the next the next mistake that we make. And this is for the experienced people because I've seen some of us do this. That Boldly. We, we get on the ship before it's time to go to the room. And some of us have figured out how to open up that door. And you already know what I'm talking about. Open up that door to go down the hall so you can get to your room. And put your stuff First away. timers. And experienced people leave them people alone so they can hurry up and get out. Rooms ready, man. Yeah. <laughs> if you have not purchased um, fat, um, faster to the fun, if you have not bought into a um, a suite or sent something like that that gives you the privileges to go into your room early, like my husband said, leave them people alone. Yeah, leave them people alone. Do you l- listen? I'm gonna put the ball back in your court. When you at work, do you want somebody bothering you before it's your time to be bothered? Right. No, leave no. people alone. Yeah, you you're gonna be able to get in there after 1 30. They, they and the cruise director or one of them jokers gonna make an announcement to let us know that it's, it's time to go in the room. Mm-hmm. Leave the doors alone. They have and sometimes the doors, <laughs> sometimes the doors be open. Yeah, they do Even be open if sometimes. the doors is open, that don't mean that you can go through them. <laughs> That's it. That's it. We we go we gonna have some respect. For the people, the people do a hard, they have hey, to turn hey, over hey, the entire hey, ship hey, in a matter of hours. Hey, but we're not being judgmental because we don't open the door for folks, too. Indeed, we have. We don't open the door, I'm but we don't learn how to, we don't open the door. So how are we talking to us, too? But, <laughs> hey, like like the church say, I repented and I'm different. Yeah. I've changed. You don't turn from your wicked ways? I turn from my wicked ways, and now I can judge everybody that's doing it. <laughs> I can judge everybody that's doing it. Oh, Allah. Lord have mercy. Courtney said, tell them people eat a burger and have a drink and sat down. Sat right. down. Sat down. <laughs> Leave them people alone. Yeah. And they got you. you. And they got you. you. And then you want to wonder why they, they got a little attitude when they come and give you their car. Hey, my name is LZ. I'm your. <laughs> <laughs> these people, <laughs> people got to change your room over. Clean up that dang old hallway. Got to get out the dang on people's way that's getting the luggage to the door and remember your name. And they only had three hours of sleep. <laughs> and they had about three hours. And that's probably not even exact. Hey, yeah, I'm probably yeah. <clears throat> Cause we was on MSC. Oh, um, yeah, man. yeah. Yeah, I don't even want to get yeah, because it was it was heartbreaking. It was, but, heartbreaking. Yeah, it was heartbreaking. I was like, yeah. MS, like we thought that Carnival's people were hard. MSC, when that guy told me he said, I go over right there and take a little nap in the closet. I said, wait, what? We don't talk about it. <laughs> Yeah, hotels is usually 10 or 11 for checkout. It all depends on which one you go to. Yeah. But start getting <clears throat> brand loyal to the mm-hmm. hotels, and then you will start getting the privileges of getting later checkouts, right. if that helps. Um, but again, so if you're getting on a ship that has like the roller coaster, Bolt, That's things like that. Mardi Gras, celebration. celebration. Take care of that <clears throat> day one. Take care of it day one. Get your stuff paid for, um, reserved. And I even would tell you to reserve and do it early on in your sailing because if the ship gets too rocky and the wind gets too bad, <clears throat> they will shut that thing down right. and you won't be <clears throat> able to do it. Also, as it keeps running, things can happen. Like we try to do it twice on a celebration. And the third time was a charm because every time something was happening with right. the wheel bearings and they would have to take it down. I was like, we really shouldn't get on this if it's like broke down twice on us. <laughs> like maybe God giving us a sign. I mean, God did give us a sign. I, I shouldn't have got on it. It was the scariest thing I've experienced in a long time. That ride is like, I, I was like, how, you. I was like, how did y'all do it? How did y'all how did take you make an amusement this feel? park roller coaster? And make it feel like a real roller coaster out here on the ocean. Because Amazing. it doesn't look like it's going to be that intense. Like, right. I wasn't even scared. <clears throat> Man, I felt every dip, 
and this fool was hitting the nas, as I call it. <laughs> On the down, yeah. It was just a lot. I was like, I thought I was going to lose my life, man. Some of us experienced people get this wrong sometimes, too. But sometimes you can't avoid it. It all depends on what time, especially you get on the ship. Yeah. Just don't run to the buffet. Because the buffet is going to be the packest place on the ship. Yep, on embarkation so, day. Um, it all depends on what ship you're on. Majority of ships definitely got Guy's Burger. But there's other places that you can go eat. Blue Iguana, uh, Gigi's. It's different places. So ch check your uh, your ship hey guys, that you're shacks. on and see what other spots they have to be able to eat. So when you first get on, you don't have to make a mad dash to that buffet where everybody's going to be. And touching everything. And we're going to catch you guys in the next video straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south.